Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name is Ken, and today's experiment is the rubber band cup rocket launcher. So basically you need rubber bands, you need uh, three or four cups, and uh, then you're off to ready to go. So one cup is empty, no rubber band. That is your launcher. And then you're gonna use another cup, and you're just gonna put a rubber band all the way around it, and that's gonna be your rocket, right? So the setup's pretty easy. Grab a cup and just put a rubber band all the way around it for the first one, so we only have one rubber band. For the second experiment, just add a second rubber band in a plus sign right there. You can tape it down if you want to, but you don't need to. Sure, it's just a regular cup with no rubber band, and you put it down, and then you're going to take your rocket uh, with a rubber band, and you're going to stretch it down to the bottom here as far as it'll let it go, and then you're going to try to release both fingers at the same time. It shoots off. So pretty good. They're going to angle off. If you don't do it exactly, if you do this side, one side, then let go here, it's going to angle to the side as you kind of saw there. So we're going to try to make an attempt to do it again with the smaller cups. Um, and we'll let go. And it too shot that way there. But the, hence the potential energy storing up, the kinetic energy is released. We're going to go uh, uh, one more step up to see by increasing it to two rubber bands will it go a little higher. The first one went about three feet. We're gonna measure it in a little bit, but um, we're gonna see if this goes any higher. So we're gonna take our launcher. We got two rubber bands here and they're just uh, flipped right over. Put it right in the middle here. And then I try to release it at the same time. Uh, that's the tricky part, uh, but it's still gonna launch. And uh, definitely has a little more power. Um, it angled still. Probably about the same height, but it felt like it was going up a little bit faster. So let's try a smaller cup. Same thing. We got two rubber bands. There. These are both 64s, so they're a little thicker on the rubber band. Pull it down. You can feel. I can feel the tension already. So that potential energy is just storing in it. That definitely went the farthest. Um, that went probably about four feet. Um, so that definitely went a good good distance on there. All right, so we're doing the larger cup now. I, I think I'm just gonna. We know the, we know the, um, we know the, the double rubber band's gonna go higher. So I'm just gonna skip uh, the single rubber band here. We're gonna go double rubber bands, double rocket. So double here. Show you in a second. So I got. All right. I got two rubber bands on each one. We got one launcher right here. And then we're going to put the first rocket down and then the second rocket down. And we're going to see if we can hit the ceiling with these larger uh, rubber bands. Pull down. Oh! <laughs> that definitely hit the uh, top of the ceiling very hard and came straight back down. Uh, definitely the highest launch so far. So. Results are uh, when you have the larger cups and the double rubber band, it definitely shoots the highest. So uh, I will come back and tell you the science behind it right after this. So potential and kinetic energy. The science behind this is as you stretch down the rubber band uh, over the cup, you're storing up energy by putting tension on the rubber band. The stored up energy is called potential energy. The more the rubber band stretches, the more energy that is stored. This is why the further the launcher is pressed down over the cup, the further it flies up when you release the rubber band. The tension is, uh, is released is the potential energy that's transformed into kinetic energy, which is energy in motion. I hope you liked this uh, video. If you did, remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. Thanks for watching.